Hello Coyotes, we have discussed so far the importance of persevering and being college and career ready, actively participating in the classroom and school-wide community, and demonstrating competency in mastering standards and technology. And today we will discuss our final school learner outcome or key skill, which in my opinion is the most important and will set you up for a happy and productive life. At Castaic High School, we want you to demonstrate kindness and inclusivity to everyone. At a high school level, demonstrating kindness and inclusivity fosters positive relationships, emotional well-being, personal growth, and has a community impact. By prioritizing these values, you can create a supportive and inclusive environment leading to increased happiness and fulfillment. Here's the bottom line. If you're a kind person, meaning you treat others well and with respect, you're going to open doors for yourself. If you uh, engage in unkind acts, you will unfortunately see how quickly doors shut and doors that will never open for you. It really is the simplest thing you can do is to be kind. However, it is amazing how many people, including adults, will choose anger over being happy and kind instead. We all have bad days. We are not at our best and maybe we don't treat others uh, their, uh, our best on those days. With that said, those days need to be few and far between. I know saying be kind sounds cheesy, but it really is what separates people who feel, live a fulfilled and the life and those who don't. Being kind is a skill you can practice every day. If I had a magic wand, it would be the one gift I wish everybody could possess, and that is being kind and inclusive to others. Good morning, Coyotes, and thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Good Morning Castaic. My name is Connor Whitlatch, and I'm the director for this week's episode. As you can see, we're in our studio hard at work producing this week's show. Kara, how are you feeling about the episode? I'm super excited. I think we have some great segments. And I can attest to the fact that we have a great lineup for you this week, Coyotes. And as we make our way into our studio, we can see the rest of our studio team hard at work producing this week's show. On this week's episode, we had the chance to talk with students about why the cost of being a teen is so high. We also had the chance to look at why being present in school and in life is so important, and we saw how girls varsity soccer closed out their season. These segments and more coming up on this week's episode. Madison, can you get me started? Good morning, Castaic starts right now. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Good morning, Coyotes, and welcome back. My name is Jacob Calderon, and I'm joined with... Valerie Cheer, Madison Lamb, and Haley Federico. To kick off today's show, we will be discussing our okay and no ways for this week. Jacob, why don't you start us off? So my okay for this week is that it's the second semester of school. We're getting to summer. It's coming up. Like, it's about to be warm again. So excited. Um, and my no way is that Universal Music Group took all of their music oh. off of TikTok. So there's just like not a lot of music on TikTok right now and like everything's getting copyrighted. So it kind of feels like TikTok is it's, it's like muted. Like yeah. I miss my music. <laughs> well, my okay for this week is that Phil the Groundhog said that it's going to be an early spring. So I'm hoping for some warmth, even though we'll probably get tons of rain, but that's fine. Yeah. Um, and my no way for this week is the weird like Tesla cyber trucks that are coming out or something. Yeah, I think they're like futuristic and they're just like weird looking and they need to go away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my okay are the Grammy nominations. I'm so excited. So my favorite like top artists are there for like the highest contests. So I hope Lana and Taylor sweep the floor. 
As for my no way, I am not looking forward to AP exam season. Even though it's a few months away, it's like really daunting and I just am not looking forward to it. Yeah, and my no way for this week is the Apple Vision Pro goggles oh, yeah. Yeah. for like two or three thousand oh dollars to basically have a phone like sitting in front of my <laughs> eyes. Like, I don't know, I could just text from my phone. Yeah. I don't need to be texting with my eyes. Yeah. And then speaking of Taylor Swift, my okay is the Super Bowl, so maybe she'll be there. And I think the 49ers and the Chiefs are just gonna, they're thinking gonna put on a really good game. I've been watching them all season. Yeah. And speaking of the Super Bowl, Javez and Jackson had the chance to ask students who they think is going to take home the trophy. So let's take a look. With the Super Bowl right around the corner, we asked the students on campus who will win, the 49ers or the Chiefs? Who is going to win the Super Bowl, the 49ers or the Chiefs? The Chiefs because Travis Kelsey is really good looking. Not Taylor Swift, 49ers for life, baby. 49ers, baby. 49ers all the way, bang, bang, nine a game, baby. Let's that is not even a fair question to ask. The San Francisco 49ers. Bang, bang. I think the Niners are going to win. Uh, Probably the Chiefs. Thank you, Coyotes, for sharing your thoughts on who's going to win this year's Super Bowl. Until next time, Coyotes. Bye. Next up, the unique curriculum offered at Cascade High School through career technical education classes helps distinguish our school from others. Today, Dylan and Sebastian bring us more from last week's career technical education fair. On January 30th, students were given the opportunity to attend Castec High School's elective year. Students were able to preview elective opportunities such as band, journalism, film production, theater, yearbook, and so much more. Today, we'll be able to talk to Ms. Kazan about what elective fair is all about and what it has to offer. We want to let students know all the different classes we offer so that when we register them next month, they're prepared. Hey, you should sign up for Color Guard, even though you won't we invited two students from every single elective to host a table and then we talked to them about how to recruit and bring some props to kind of draw students in. Steak has the best electives. You won't find better career technical ed electives probably in the state of California than you have at Cal State High School. We have programs here that if you graduate with certificates in, you could really put yourself in a position of not only being employable, but making a very good wage when you graduate high school. So really just to create, a, to create awareness about our programs. It's to get kids excited about these programs and understand that there's a lot of opportunities out there for them. You just gotta take advantage of them. Thanks Mrs. Kazan and Mr. Ferry for shedding light on Castex Elective Fair and giving students the opportunity to explore different school pathways. I'm Dylan Silvera reporting for Good Morning Castex. Coyotes, I'm your facts master, and I have an interesting fact for you today. Did you know, Nintendo was originally founded back in 1889 as a Hanafuda cards company. Even after many years later, they still make them to this day. That's all the time I have for you this week, Coyotes. This is the facts master, signing off. Speaking of career technical education, students can also become increasingly involved on campus through a variety of clubs and organizations such as film or debate club. Castaic High School's annual club rush is taking place tomorrow in the Coyote Bowl. Let's send it over to Connor Whitlatch for more information. Connor? Good morning Coyotes and thank you so much for joining us. As you know, Club Rush is coming up this week and today we have the chance to speak with ASB Vice President Alexis Candiani regarding what to expect when it comes to Club Rush. So Alexis, for any students who may not know what Club Rush is, can you kind of give me a rundown on what the event is about? Of course, yeah. Club Rush is an event where all clubs, you know, old or new, can kind of come together in one lunch period and really uh, show all the students who go to Castaic High School what their club is about. And it's a great time for um, students and clubs alike, you know, to get to know what they want to do with their high school career. So it's a really good time to, you know, show off what your club is about and for students to have a great time, you know, discovering. Yeah, for sure. And um, what should club officers and club advisors expect to do to prepare for Club Rush? Uh, club officers and club advisors should, um, they can bring goodies to fundraise, they can sell treats to fundraise, or they can just bring something to like give away to, you know, get their club noted, noticed or, you know, to let students really know what their club is about. You know, they can bring 
equipment, they can bring props or anything they want really to lay out on their table to kind of entice, you know, students to be like, hey, this is what my club is about and this is, you know, why you should join. Mm -hmm, for sure. And then what can students expect to do during the lunch period at Club Rush? Um, students, it's a really relaxed event, honestly. You can walk around, you can sign up for clubs right there on the spot, you can sign up for as many as you want, because we have so many. And it's just, it's a really chill time to, you know, kind of discover what you want to do, obviously, and what you want to invest your time in. Yeah, for sure. Thank you so much for speaking with us today, and I can't wait to see how Club Rush goes. <laughs> Coyotes, if you have any more questions, please be sure to email Mr. Overdevest. Now let's send it back to the hosts. Clubs and career technical education are not the only ways to become involved on campus. With the first week of February in the books, we saw our winter sports wrapping up. Under the soccer field lights last week, we celebrated the extraordinary dedication, passion, and camaraderie that defined the spirit of Cassie High School Athletics. From the soccer field, Connor and Janelle bring us more. Dedication, camaraderie, and passion. These three words drilled into the minds of high school athletes. On January 30th, 2024, Castaic Girls Soccer commemorated the team's senior athletes for their continuous dedication over the past four years. Um, being a part of this team, I just feel it means that I'm going to be an impact for those who will come after me as being a second graduated senior. And this program, it's still new, so I just feel that as we've developed over the years, it will keep developing, and I can probably say like I've been a part of it since almost day one. Being the best support system she could ever ask for. <laughs> Lena is being escorted by her father, a member of the Catholic's first JV team. I like to thank my dad for always giving me advice on and off the field, telling me like what I need to work on and what like our coach is trying to explain to me if I'm confused. And also my coach Jose, who's never given up on me and who's always um, been by my side. I've grown a lot mentally just as a player. I think starting out freshman year, I was definitely a little bit timid of like other girls and I didn't really know how good I was or like have any confidence in myself. So I think over the years I just found confidence and like trust in myself playing wise. I've grown in the leadership role as well, especially this year I've had to be captain and like be the one who's controlling everybody and like just leading the team. However, the past four years on Castaic Girls Soccer haven't been easy for all players. Rachel Burnett did not have the opportunity to play during her senior year. Um, one challenging moment was um, junior year when I had a December tournament where I got hit and I ended up tearing my ACL meniscus. It's definitely been an experience and I'm grateful to be on the team regardless. But yeah, it was definitely really challenging mentally and like physically for me. And I'm still recovering, but yeah, that was definitely a hard thing to face. The strength and determination of these players has truly shown during their four years at Castaic. The impact of these senior athletes is sure to live on for years to come. We congratulate Mallory Palm, Rachel Burnett, Ellie Yamamoto, and Layla Carranza on their accomplishments and wish them all the best. Reporting for Good Morning Castaic, this has been Connor Whitlatch. Hello Coyotes, and this week's trivia question is, who is generally considered the inventor of the motor car? Is it A. Henry Ford, B. Carl Benz, or C. Henry M. Leland? That's right, it's B, Carl Benz. Good job to the lucky winners, and for the losers, do better. I hope you guys had a fun time. See you next time. As we near the end of our show, let's send it over to Madison with some important announcements for this week. Madison? Thank you. Now here are today's announcements. Starting off strong, Castaic Theatre is hosting a coffee night fundraiser on February 9th from 6 to 8 p.m. Everyone is invited, so we hope to see you there. Spring Club Rush is Wednesday, February 7th in the Coyote Bowl at lunch. Be sure to stop by and check out all the amazing clubs on campus and maybe join a few yourself. To any seniors applying to COC, there are going to be information nights for you and your family offered both in person and virtually. 
Check out the flyers around campus for more information, or you can email the Welcome Center at welcomecenter at canyons.edu. Last but certainly not least, the lacrosse team is looking for more athletes to join. No experience is necessary. Contact Coach Eppenbaugh at castaglacrosse at gmail.com. Back to you guys. Thanks, Madison, for those announcements. I am so excited to cover the lacrosse season on our sports show, The Pack. With January drawing to a close, we saw events such as the Winter Formal happening on campus. And what people weren't talking about were the price tags attached to these events. Today, Aiden and Jason had the chance to speak with students about the cost of being a teen. High school. A time for growth, friendship, and creating memories that last a lifetime. But for some students at Castaic High School, the dream of a normal high school experience is overshadowed by the harsh reality of financial constraints. I mean, dance tickets, like, I've been going to dance since, like, my freshman year. It's like, they're super expensive. I'm broke as hell. I can't be buying that. Um, my opinion is I feel like they're, like, a little too overpriced. Originally, they're usually, like, $60, which is a good price. But the thing is, like, later in time, they start eventually increasing it which i think is unfair and honestly makes students not want to buy them more just makes it less appealing to the students so in my opinion i think they're just way too high and it's probably like stay at like 60 55 maybe and a lot more students are going to want to go to them. according to seniorsreporter.org around four percent of people under the age of 18 live in poverty in cast in 2022 this may not seem like much but over 18,643 people live in cast so 4% of that is around 745 kids that live in poverty. Now, assuming that a third of those kids are teens that go to Cassaic High School, that's about 248 kids who won't be able to afford a normal high school experience. We also spoke to members of ASB to get an understanding of the thought process when deciding prices. So last year, I think the yearbook's like a, like 100 some bucks. Um, I think it's like not bad because like, it's like memories and like everyone's pictures and stuff, so. I think that's like, I think that's fine. Um, like the school dances, like 70 bucks is like kind of a lot. I think it could be lowered a little bit, but when you like spend so much money on like, like, like all the food and like the DJ and stuff, like it like adds up. So like 70 bucks is like, I guess it's fine. Uh, yearbooks, I think it's fine. Like it's memories that you get to keep. For the dances, I feel like it just like depends on how much we've like spent on the dance because then we like, they kind of need to like at least even it out. And then the stuff in the student store is cheap. I think it's well priced. So, as Castaic High School navigates this issue, the hope is to create a middle ground so that ASB can pay off events and profit off of other school items, and that more students can participate in memorable events and extracurriculars without the weight of excessive expenses. Reporting for Good Morning Castaic, I'm Aiden Rubicon. Well, that's all we have for you this week, Coyotes. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok at Good Morning Castaic, and listen to our podcast, Coyote Call, on Spotify. Until next week, Coyotes. Bye. Bye.